Little birdie told me I need RV advice. Get information straight from the horse's mouth. Little birdie told me I need RV advice. It's Just Ask Gigi with Gigi Settler and Tom Alexander. Now here's Gigi and Tom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Just Ask Gigi. My name's Tom Alexander. And of course, this Hi. is Gigi Stetler. And uh, today's show, we're actually going to go out in the field, Gigi. We're going to go out and do a little uh, uh, troubleshooting, if you will. Yeah, a little. You know, I was just, I think, by before 9 o'clock this morning, I had put out three small fires. <laughs> Did so, you? So I thought maybe, you know, I yeah. can take you on that journey. You know? Oh, yeah. No, that would be good. It would be good to get out there and see what's, uh, you know. What trend? There's always something, you know, that you got to think about, right, with, with, with your RV and make sure that you're on top of things. So well, we're what, gonna... what normally happens is people, you know, if they just recently bought it, they, you know, when they do get a walkthrough, um, it, it's impossible to remember everything that, you know, yeah. the person doing the walkthrough shows you. So, you know, one thing goes wrong and you're in a panic because, you know, and then the, the owner's manual is like this thick. Yeah. So you, yeah. it's too complicated. <laughs> Well, let's go out and see it. We'll be back right after these words. Terry and Carrie, they want an RV. Really, they want the freedom that comes with being able to pick up whenever they want and to move from one breathtaking view to another. The kind of freedom that takes them across the country and beyond, living their dream. But if they buy the wrong RV, it might actually pop their dream world. Maybe they pick one that's too heavy to tow for their vehicle or go with the wrong dealership who won't service their RV. There are questions to ask before they buy, and even more once they become an owner. Thankfully, there's the RV Advisor, the only non-biased platform for information for the RV and outdoor enthusiasts. Get the best tips, tricks, and discounts at all KOA nationwide campgrounds and other huge discounts that every RV enthusiast will love. Now, Terry and Carrie are living the life exactly how they want. Visit the RVAdvisor.com or call 833-229-0911. All right, everybody, we're out in the field, and uh, no matter what day of the week it is, there's always something to troubleshoot, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, so what are, we, what are we looking at first here, Gigi? Well, this morning I got a call from an individual that has this exact model, actually. Uh, it was a renter, and it was kind of a crappy situation. <laughs> she called and she was in a panic that her toilet and shower and everything overflowed and everything was inside the camper and basically literally, literally a crappy, crappy situation gotcha so i said well where did you hook up the water to and i actually had her go with her phone and 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 facetime me the camper so if you look here you have your fresh water connection and your city water connection uh your fresh water connection is how you fill up your your fresh water potable water tank okay you're, you're fill that yep. and then this is your city where you basically hook up to the water hose uh, that you'll have constant water well and this beautiful thing over here looks like the same as the city water fill it looks the same huh yes this and this look the same well she didn't read the label there ah. so what this is okay this is your tank flush so if you hook up the hose here, this is how you sanitize your black tank, okay? You must have your gray and your black handles open, okay? Because this goes into your tank and fills the tank so you can clean it. Right. So what happened was her valves were closed, so the only place you could go once the tank is full is up. So needless to say, she flooded the camper. Ah. So always look, because sometimes, you know, if the label wears off or something like that, Normally, your city water connection will 99.9% .9 of the time will be right next to your your fill, your potable water fill. Um, so that's just you know a little FYI. But anyway, that was the mistake she made, and uh, I had her unscrew that and go over there and dry up her camper. Right. So that was problem number one this morning. All right. Well, let's move on to problem number two. Okay. All right. We are uh, now with problem number two aboard a gray. Wolf Cherokee, yes, and I'll get that out. <laughs> and uh, what what happened here? Uh, this morning, yeah. uh, also before yeah. nine o'clock. Yeah. Uh, customer called me. I don't have any power. I don't have any power in half my my trailer. I can't. My phone didn't charge last night, and none of my outlets work. And 
So I said, okay, quickly go into the bathroom and uh, follow me, A.B. And right here, I told her to look for the GFI, which is uh, a reset button right here and just push it and you will reset your GFI, which all of your outlets are controlled by a GFI breaker. So anyway, she reset it and she lit up like a Christmas tree. So problem solved. Now she was ready to take the RV to a dealership and it would have sat there for, I don't know, weeks and weeks before somebody could get to look at it. And who knows what they would have charged her because they might have told her, oh, you need to do this and a new that and da 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 da. So sometimes they're just little simple things that will save you a lot of headache. And those are some of the things that we have on, uh, you know, did you know? Did you know on our website? Yeah. <laughs> do you know? There's you a know? lot of do you know do you or know? did you know? And I keep adding yeah. to those every day. And I think yeah. that maybe, you know, every troubleshooting call that we get, I think I should add a do you know on on that. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, we're gonna Probably be a good idea. Tons of pages, but yeah. you know, it's just it's just silly information. Sometimes you know, it's impossible to know those kind of things. Um when you when you're doing your walkthrough, uh to you know get familiar with it what before you pick it up or before you buy it um or as you're in the middle of purchasing it you're not gonna remember all the things that they tell you it's impossible no, you know even you know i do recommend if you're doing a walkthrough before you purchase to maybe video it or you know record it or something so that you can refer back to it but the owner's manual doesn't really say oh if your breaker if your outlet doesn't work go here right. <laughs> you know yeah. doesn't kind of tell you that so that's why you have ask the expert. <laughs> there, you, there you go. All right, we're going to check out one more, our yes. third and final troubleshooting issue. For today. For, yeah, well, for today. It's, <laughs> for it's every other day. It's every other day we got the Before phone. 9 a.m., remember. That's right. Just like the Army. Remember those yeah. little commercials? We do more before 9 o'clock than most people do all day. So let's all go right. left. All right, let's go right, check it out. Left, right, left. All right, and our third problem of the day, uh, we're going to... Wait, wait, wait. We don't have problems. We have solutions. Solutions. Come solutions. On. Come huh? on. All right. I've been, You've been working with me long enough. Yeah, I should. I, come on. Problems. All right. All right. Solutions. 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 All right. What's our solution? Our situation. Yes. Yeah. So this customer calls and uh, I don't have any power with my generator. My generator's running. It's starting up and purring like a kitten, but there's no power inside the coach. So what am I doing wrong? So. Uh, well, there's only two things that could possibly go wrong with that if your generator is working and nothing's working on the inside. And the ladder I'm going to tell you, hope that it's not that one. So anyway, come outside and take the cover off. And you'll see the breakers right here on the generator. And you just flip those breakers and oh, hopefully that they were tripped. And if they were tripped, you should power up like a Christmas tree. So hopefully that solves that problem. If that does not work, then most likely you have uh, burnt out your transfer switch. And that uh, will require, but the good thing is that it normally is the only problem when you're not able, when you're not running the load inside, is uh, it's not transferring power. Right. So um, you can kind of, if you need to get a mobile technician, you can give them the model of the generator uh, and just tell them most likely, or the model of the coach, find the transfer switch, maybe the owner's manual or call the manufacturer to find out where it is, get the model off of it, so that you can basically skip the diagnosing. And, uh, you know, because normally they'll charge you a 250 to a $300 diagnosing fee to tell you it's transfer switch. So I can pretty much 99% positive that it's a transfer switch, if it's not your breakers. Great, well, very helpful three issues three solutions right all right yes. okay we're gonna go back in and we're going to answer your questions that's coming up next awesome and we're back on just ask Gigi with Gigi Stepler uh, my name is Tom Alexander and uh, I think with everything we learned out there with the troubleshooting that can save a lot of money for folks right yeah what, what happens is the first thing they think oh my god I you know I got to call a, a mobile technician yeah. and uh, because they're they're kind of silly things and uh so there's just a few little test things that you can do yourself before you you know you, you call that 139 dollar an hour technician or whatever his price is yeah. but or you make an appointment for a dealer that gives you an appointment three months from now and then you don't use the rv yeah. you know for the next couple of months because you're waiting for an appointment and it could be something really simple 
Yeah. yeah. You ready for some questions? I'm always ready. All right. Okay. All right. So well, that's why it's called Just Ask Gigi, because we're going to Just Ask just Gigi, ask Gigi. Just right now. All righty. All right. Let's take a peek here. Uh, how how long is the process of buying an RV if with your help and with GPS? That's Gigi's personal services. Well, I guess um, it could be as short or as long as, you know, you know what what I what I do recommend is doing homework and I I have a lot of homework 33 years worth of homework already done yeah. but you know once you narrow down or at least close to the type of RV you want or what you want um, before you enter into that contract and you know and start negotiating and, and signing anything that's when you need me you know uh, if you need me to help you to find a particular product uh, from a reputable dealer I can do that as well but what you really need me for is, you know, to, to get into the, the fine print of those contracts. And a couple of things, um, you know, maybe when you, when you first walk on a dealer's lot and you kind of have an idea, you know the floor plan you want because you went to a show and you educated yourself and stuff, yeah. um, and you walk into that dealership and the salesman, you know, you start talking, you, you know, and uh, the first question the salesman asks you are you paying cash or are you financing it right. and before you even get a price run <laughs> run away yeah. because that's uh, that's a, one of the first things that I will tell you with you know is hiring me um, but there are many other tips and and I wish that many people would hire me prior to signing a contract because I'm always getting after the fact and trying to clean up you yeah. know, the mess of clean up of, the mess here you can prevent yeah. the mess yes exactly because they're you yeah. know so it, it, it could take you know it could take you know a, a few hours uh, once we get all you know the nitty-gritty down and make sure that the contract is what you want and all mm -hmm. that stuff you yeah. know, it could take a few hours it could take a few months so it just kind of depends on where you are in the stage of, of buying right uh, another question here uh, can Gigi help me buy something outside of Florida because we're based here in South Florida. Oh, well, so, so, of course. Well, yeah. that's the whole purpose of the RV advisor. And actually, that's a good question because that is the very reason why I formed the RV advisor. Right. Because I do do business around the country, you know, horse showing and stuff. And I have so many friends that live in different states and uh, that, that I meet at the horse shows and stuff. And they're always asking me, hey, Gigi, you know, I'm living in Ohio. Um, I want to buy a fifth wheel. Can you recommend? somebody in my area and that's a problem I can't recommend anybody yeah. because nobody has any pride in what they do and of course if something goes wrong they're gonna come back after me right. so that's why I formed this company so that I could actually do real-time reviews on dealers and hold them accountable so yes I can help you buy something out of Florida or anywhere and I what I do is I I, I don't you know I might look at their Google reviews um, but like I said, I think I had mentioned it in a show before that I, I kind of look for the pattern. If it's the same, you know, problem that the dealer is having and consumer complaints and stuff like that, and it's the same thing, it's a pattern. Mm -hmm. But I always, you know, give the dealer the opportunity. So, you know, I will call them and basically vet them for you to make sure that, you know, to check out some of the stories. And then if they, and I still would, you know, I want to always encourage to buy, you know, local to buy as close to home as possible. Yeah. So with that said, uh, yes, of course I can help you buy out of state, but I want to make sure that I hold that dealer accountable. So as an RV advisor member, I want that dealership to know that they've got to be accountable, you know. So I think that we're gaining some speed and getting a little bit more respect now these days you yeah. know, in the industry. Yeah, another quick question here. We have, um, how can Gigi help me legally? What's her legal experience? <laughs> Well, I think I've spent. <laughs> I think we, yeah, that's uh, we we've talked about that ad nauseum, really. But uh, you've got I, so much. Unfortunately, I don't have a law degree. I wish I did, but uh, but I've spent probably half my life in the, in in a courtroom. But right. um, but I think you know contractually, was I mean I, I I have a better understanding about contracts and stuff. In fact, you know I have a team of lawyers that that work for the RV advisor yeah. and. And what I do is I do most pre-litigation and, and I do all the homework and, and you know, just in that case that I, I sued General Electric, I represented myself and the, my lawyers represented the corporation because you can't represent a corporation. And 
I won. I beat them. And people told me that you can't sue General Electric, but yeah. I did, and I and I and I prevailed. And um, so, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, like I said I don't have a lot of. I'm a guy that owes me money. Can you help me out? <laughs> I, I think what what I, I know from experience. So what happens is I can I can get all that pre litigation stuff out of the way because what happens is when it's time to you know if I think you have a good case you know a good lemon law case. A lot of times documents aren't preserved. You didn't get the right documentation. Yeah. So that's the stuff that I do. I will tell you, you need this and you need that so you could preserve your, you know, all of your rights and stuff. And that stuff I know, just, you can't even teach that in law school. I, I know that from experience, so I want to pass that on. And then, you know, I'm not to give you legal advice, but I'm just to give you professional advice. And then when I feel that the time is, is right, then I will turn you over to a lawyer if litigation is necessary. Yeah, one more question we have for you, um, and really it's related. What do, what, do, what do we look for in a contract? What specifically do you look for? You know, what are the first things you, you kind of scope out and say, hey, Red flag, you know. <laughs> well, I think I scrutinized a contract from from Last time. Uh, yeah, uh, which I'm, and I we still don't have results if if the gentleman's going to get his money back yeah. because of the contract he signed. Right. Um, but there, you know, there's a there's a couple of, you know, a, a couple of questions came up actually to me uh, within the last week about uh, a dealer wants a non-refundable deposit. Yeah. So let's talk about that for a minute. Um, you know, there's two sides to the story with that. Uh, first of all, you got to know why. Uh, you know, what what are the contingencies on the non-refundable deposit? If you're asking a dealer to take it off the market, um, and maybe you want uh, you you're going to tender a deposit for him to check out the vehicle mm -hmm. to do a PDI, um, and and then you're going to determine if you want to buy it. So if the dealer does do all of that and they do do a PDI and then you decide you don't want it um, and the dealer has spent that time and effort, um, you know, if you don't have any contingencies, well, if the air conditioner is not working, I'm not going to buy it. You know, and so there's, you know, but you can't expect the dealer to take something, especially a used unit or, you know, to take it off the market um, with you to, because what happens with customers as well is customers will say, here's my $500. They'll go to every dealer in town and put a $500 deposit on a vehicle, you know, and take that off the market while they go off and shop, you know, other dealers. So it's not fair. That's not fair either, yeah. you know. So this non-refundable thing, it, you, it's a relationship. So you've got to work it out with the, with the dealer or the customer and say, listen, I'm willing to take a risk and here's $500, you know, for you to go through the unit. And tell me everything that's wrong with it, and you know, and then I can make that decision. But but negotiate up front. Like what what we do in my personal dealership is when we take a deposit, it's subject to everything working. So mm -hmm. if if let's say I sell something used for uh, let's say it's a ten thousand dollar used trailer, right. and I make it subject to everything working, and after I do a PDI on it, and I said oh the generator doesn't work and this doesn't work and that doesn't work. I'll go back to the customer and say, you know, here's your money back. I can't sell it at that price because it's got all these things. And then the customer can either renegotiate or take it as is or pay to fix it or at least give, you know, give, you know, the customer the option. Right. You know, so so that refundable, you know, when you give somebody to stay in a very small amount, a, you know, a good faith deposit, you know, between 100 and $500, I think is fair, uh, you know, for a dealer to go through the exercise and take it out of inventory. Mm -hmm. um, if it's subject to credit approval or financing, that's a different story. That's always refundable, you know. So if, but if you're paying cash, that's where the fine line comes in. What are you willing to accept, and what is the will dealer willing, you know, to 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 do for you? And that those terms and conditions need to be spelled out on the contract. Right. Well, that was good. Very helpful. Very helpful information. We're going to be back to wrap things up in just a moment. The most experienced RV traveler knows it's important to expect the unexpected. Trust the RV Advisor Roadside Assistance Plan starting at just $99 per year. It's the industry's most affordable plan and offers the most value compared to competitors, covering RVs, towed vehicles, personal vehicles, horse trailers, bike trailers, and more. Visit the RVAdvisor.com or call 833-229-0911. The RV Advisor Roadside Assistance Plan.
Don't hit the road without wrapping things up now on Just Ask Gigi along with Gigi Stetler. My name is Tom Alexander and next week, Gigi, uh, our operations man manager, Christina yes. Hurst, is going to join us. We're going to talk warranties, extended warranties, insurance, uh, all the all the news that we need to know, uh, basically, to uh, yeah. move forward, do the right thing. Right. So that's next time on Just Ask Gigi for our producer, A.B. Batista. My name's Tom Alexander, and of course, this lady right here is the star of the show, Gigi Stellar. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody.